This is Mark Leong here, your Asia's Juice Guru. Today I want to share with you an amazing recipe and the producers are all fully harvested from our local farm. But before I share with you what that recipe and what those ingredients are, let me show you what happens during the farm tour. Welcome you guys to the farm. So uh, we are doing organic farming with no chemical and no pesticide. And uh, later on, I'll bring you guys through the farm. Uh, four areas of the farm. The uh, firstly will be the sprouting area. For the sprouting area here, uh, we mainly grow actually two types of greens. Firstly is this, the sunflower sprout. And then the second one is the uh, wheat grass. This is our open area. In this area, we, are, we do not have netting or any protection for all the vegetables. This is the composting area, they will filter out, they will let them decompose, uh, let them ferment for a period of six months. So uh, every half year, uh, we will have one cycle of the compost uh, finished, then we can use them and put them back to the uh, soil, uh, open area, greenhouse area, or even the sprouting area. So this one is our greenhouse area. Uh, we actually used to have three rows and then the last row, uh, A, B and C. La. Total of 52 greenhouses. Welcome back. Today, the amazing recipe that I want to share with you guys is called the Naibai Juice. And if you're wondering earlier, what was the ingredient that we have harvested from our local farm? That ingredient is called Naibai. This is how it looks like. Check this out. They are so fresh, so succulent and beautiful. This is the ingredient that you not only can cook, but you can actually juice it and a lot of people are not aware of it. This juice that I'll be sharing with you guys today, it has a lot of amazing benefits. But the two benefits that I want to share with you is number one, this juice contains high antioxidants very good for people that's trying to prevent cancer it's very good for your skin as well the second benefit is this juice actually helps you to lower down your ldl which are the bad cholesterols so for people that has high cholesterol issues this is the juice that you want to frequently consume on your day-to-day -day basis to make the naibai juice there are five key ingredients involved here and the recipe is you need two green apples two ribs of celery one inch of ginger two limes and a cup of naibai. I want to share with you guys one very, very important tip that a lot of people are not aware. And this is where, you, are, if you are slicing your apples as the first ingredient, make sure that you have a glass of water that is filled with salt so that it prevents your apple from oxidizing because you do not want your apples to be looking yellowish, brownish. Even after you juice it, the color is not that green and beautiful. So this is what I do. After I slice them straight away, I'll dump it into this glass of salt water. The correct technique of juicing to make sure that you have the maximized output of your juices is by juicing the leafy green first. Leaving the ingredient with the most water or the most liquid, like for example, the cucumber towards the end. Here you go, this is the Naibai juice. Just look at the color. This is how it's gonna look like. Light, green, beautiful. Try this juice at home. Let me know what you think about it. I'm sure you'll love the flavors. And this is Mark Leong here once again, your Asia Juice Guru. I'm signing out now. Thank you.